Cause without you I cease to exist. Makes me cry, cry. Hold on. Okay, good God almighty. Whew. Ah! My fucking eyes. Oh, <sighs> So, this is uh, kind of a neat... Oh, what? My fucking... Uh, that's not helpful. Alright, so this is kind of a neat uh, thing that we're working on here today. Uh, I got the final proofs of, uh, not final proofs, but I got the edit back of Space Tards uh, from a professional editor. We hired off of a professional editor hiring site. And uh, we're running through his edit here. Um, we made it through just like 25 pages yesterday. I want to do a little bit better today. We started earlier. Hopefully people won't bother me. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is kind of like a neat thing because we can see um, I already edited this on stream. So it's neat to see uh, what I missed and the things that he thinks are important and um, get some general style notes. So um, I wrote this paragraph uh, yesterday. Oh, set for, I don't know, so, sometimes people will just uh, fall ass first into one of these streams out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, my name is Zach ZYZ. I'm a fantasy and science fiction author from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, let's see, I have like five books in print, I've written ten books total, and this is, uh, I think, book nine or ten, uh, I just, I can't keep track, man. Uh, but yeah, I uh, write a lot of books, and I, uh, stream my editing here on, uh, Twitch or Picardo or YouTube or wherever the fuck you found this, um, because I think it's funny, to tell you the truth. And I get some good suggestions from readers and stuff, but, uh, mostly I just think it's kind of funny. Literally, like, watching paint drive, but sometimes I get an audience of, like, 30 or 40 people. <laughs> uh, okay, so the Tards of the... Th oh, so this is a story about um, a platoon of space marines uh, who have been genetically engineered to be superhumanly resistant to radiation with tardigrade DNA, but an unfortunate side effects... Uh, a side effect is that it actually also makes them retarded, uh, developmentally disabled. But, um, uh, and th this book makes no bones about the fact that these guys are kind of like a little bit special. Uh, but at the same time, they're very brave. Uh, they figure out like a lot of problems and uh, uh, fucking, you know, uh, they like getting on spaceships and chopping shit up. So, ugh. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> I'm going to catch some flack for this one. I would uh, anticipate a uh, less than ideal critical reception for space tards. <laughs> so the author wanted us to um, uh, rat like rattle off all of the uh, tards. So there are 23 guys in this platoon. The tards of the 37th loaded into the rats, buzzing with excitement. Some of the Marines waved to the comm as they climb aboard. He waved back. Morale was everything. He never missed a load in. First came the eleven riflemen. Sipper, Plinko, Clipper, Heafs, Lefty, Esses, Yancey, Clamps, Gabo, Sambone, and Bickles. Brave, not bright, each rifleman was capable of deadly accurate marksmanship in conditions no standard template human could survive. Next came the nine specialists. Sticky, measurement specialist. Bango, Demo Man, Choppa, Axe Man. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so, uh, just learning here. <laughs> we have to... So 
so um, the reason why we're doing this, uh, adding the the definite article in front of each of these, is so that you don't think that um, uh, Ladderman is the the name of one of these guys. Um, yeah, just that's for clarity, I think it's kind of important there. Makes that a hell of a sentence there. <laughs> Filthy burner. <laughs> All right, next came the nine specialists Sticky, the measurement specialist, Bango, the demo man, Choppa, the axe man, Yank, the hammer man. Winchester, the linesman, Yakov, the ladderman, Aziz, the lampsman, Filthy, the burner, and Deuce, the backup pilot. The three most critical members of the platoon loaded in last. Member of the mission recorder and Bonzo, the primary pilot. Finally, Gunny loaded in. With a wild grin, he flashed the comm a thumbs up and bounded into the hatch. They were unlikely to ever return. Most TARDS missions failed. Still, the captain couldn't help but feel a twinge of envy as he watched them seal the rats. Just once in his life, he wanted to feel as excited as Gunny looked before a mission. Cool, so I like that. Um, basically, the, the problem that the editor had was uh, that we introduced characters later on, and there wouldn't be any preamble as we were introducing the character. It'd just be like, hey, here's this fucking character. He does this thing. Which is a thing that you you do in, uh, in fucking... Uh, Novels that have like 90 people in them. So we wanted to, uh, and I'm going to accept this insertion right here. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm going to, I'm just going to say, I'm going to throw this guy a fucking bone. Uh, okay. And then here we know that we need a comma. Because it's a clause. Man, I better not have a Rona <coughs> coughing and shit. Jesus Christ. Mm. Well, if I do, hopefully I can complete this book before I'm done. But I also want to finish uh, fucking, uh, I want to finish recording audiobooks for survival mode and, uh, Okay. Uh, what do you call... Glossary of marine terms. Oh, what up, Bobicus? Uh, welcome to the editing stream. We out here. Uh, I just got to the fun slash hard part of my world building. Well, world building should never be hard. A uh, stevedore. <laughs> uh... I, I want to use the word stevedore here. Yeah, we're going to use stevedores. God, I knew that there was this word uh, right here. Yeah, all world building should be easy as fuck. Because it should only be the things that you like. Um, coming up with random cities and civilizations. Yeah, they just don't even fucking bother. Um, like, if you're if you're doing a video, if you're doing a and d campaign... The cities will like populate themselves. All things need is a fucking name. And like time that you spend uh, like developing minutiae for places you don't care about, players won't care about it either. Like in terms of world building, like I, I think it's great to have like a general idea of what's going on in like regions and stuff like that. 
But um, getting into like the little minutia, you are the only person who will ever care about those details. So you only have to write the things that you think are really cool. So there should, like world building is like such like a masturbatory thing. You should be having fun the whole time that you're doing it unless you want to not have fun. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyhow, that's just my idea. Um, uh, results may vary. All right, so we're going to accept this deletion right there. But uh, this, is still, <laughs> this is still open on Spathy West computer from the last time that we did it there. Mm. I mean, just remember, every civilization is just a ripoff of a civilization that's already existed in some way, shape, or form with like one or two interesting mutators happening there. Anyhow, uh, let's see. Let's go to our next change. Oh, yeah. This is... We're accepting this right here. Not only did our squad. Uh, okay. So yeah, a lot of a lot of him chopping things up with commas. I like this section right here where uh, the captain of Marines is like, "Don't look at her tits." Uh, it's hard coming up with all the mutators and stuff for it. My, my big thing is like, I'm a real, uh, huge fan of, uh, random generation. Um, just, uh, like tarot cards are usually how I pull it out. Um, just cause I, I'm like very familiar with all the symbols and so forth. And there are many ways to interpret every card. So it's always fun to do that. But yeah, like just anytime that you're not having fun with like some world building exercise or whatever, don't do it. <laughs> just, just don't bother. It'll come to you. Uh, you know, go for a fucking run or read a book or something like that. All the good ideas are the ones that like sort of pop up uh, when you're in the shower or taking a shit or like as you're drifting off to bed and you like wake up and like, oh, fuck, I got to write that one down. Like those are the ones that um, that really stick. Uh, and if you don't feel passionate about something like it'll never make it in. That's my theory. Uh, making sure proceeded. OK, cool. Rats, after all, <laughs> spectacular chuck ups. Uh, heavily shielded. Ooh, I do not agree with this hyphen right here. I don't. I don't like this at all. Yeah. Uh. I'm just going to comment on it. Yeah, because. All right. Yeah, it just feels wrong. Having like heavily shielded. Uh, hold on. Let's see if. Yeah. Oh, Spithiwa, you think it's wrong? So here's here's the thing, uh, why this is potentially an issue. Shielded is an adjective, right? Um, uh, in in this particular case, we're not talking about shielding. Um, to hyphenate or when not to hyphenate. The heavily shielded rats was built for hardship. Yeah, that would work because it comes uh, because there's a uh, noun uh, right there. Uh, let me see. So let's let's take a look here. Attributive compounds. Um, so compound adjective. Oh fuck! It is it is a good hyphen. Ah. Uh, predicative compound adjective. Um, so something like high quality um, comes after the, the adjective comes after the noun. Do not hyphenate predicative compound adjective. <sighs> oh, so it comes after the noun. Um, okay, so 
Yeah, this is... Okay. Um, so Spathy Wankenstein is saying that it's not a compound adjective um, in that sentence. Is absolutely. I'm pretty sure that it is there um, because, like, we're talking about the subject of the sentence is the rats, right? Uh, which is uh, um, uh, comprised of the pronoun it, and so heavily shielded coming after the pronoun. Um, and in fact, like the whole uh, heavily shielded against Herald radiation is the whole thing. I think there's no hyphen. I really, really do. Um, in some cases, whether uh, or not a compound should be hyphenated is open to debate. Noun plus adjective compounds should be hyphenated where they're, they're attributive. Uh, yeah, garden safe. All right, so this is not a superlative. N dash. Wow, this is a serious fucking. Well, I want to be right. So um, we we are gonna delve like a little bit into any time that there's a grammar point that is really uh, sticking out at me. Um. Yeah, like I'm gonna. Um, I'm sure that this guy will have something to say if I'm fucking wrong here. But um, yeah, just. Uh, Really and truly, I don't think that there's a hyphen there. Um, also, don't think any reader will ever give a shit. <laughs> but I, I will give a shit. And uh, let me tell you something. Like somebody who is uh, doing a professional job of editing a book called Space Tards really is just doing it for themselves. <laughs> so that's what's important. Uh, Marines... Once again, like I, I really am just agreeing with like a lot of these edits that I'm seeing right here. Um, uh, oh well, I definitely don't want to turn off track changes. Uh, Ninety-seven percent is Copilot Deuce. Eighty-five percent. Uh, I don't like Copilot here. I want it to be backup pilot. Because it's not a fucking... Deuce isn't a co-pilot in the story. Uh, he's the backup pilot. He's the guy who has to sit in the fucking ship uh, in case Bonzo gets sculled. Uh, so he doesn't actually fly the ship. The heavily shielded rats... The rats was heavily shielded, not attributive. Ah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I think I think it's fucking right. I think we I think we uh we may have defeated the editor there. Woo! Uh Bonzo's helmet had no device. It was simply painted the same candy apple red as his ship. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so in the chapter where uh Bonzo has the header, I'm just going to have uh the word red in parentheses in its logo. Oh wait, Spathywa, did I show you the fucking hold on, hold on. Let me put this on the stream if I can. This is uh, a work of genius right here. Hold on, let me see. Second sketch. Oh, we got a uh, second sketch on this guy. Oh no, this is not it. Uh Let's see. <sighs> All right, so this guy is fucked up uh, real bad on our second sketch. He just... Um... <laughs> oh, all right, hold on. Let's see here. How can I do this without doxing everybody that's ever uh, been a part of everything? Uh, 
fuck you. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's just do this right here. And so I think we can fuck up our entire formatting by just pasting it into the document, which is what I'm going to do. Take a gander at this uh, guy right here. So there's going to be one of these chapter <laughs> This character. Uh, so uh, the chapter headers are all going to be like one of these uh, black and white sketches. Um, don't worry about like the look of the seal. I'm going to fix all that. But I, I love this fucking character right here. <laughs> it's supposed to be gunny. <laughs> it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, fucking loving it. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I could not agree more. Uh, with how fucking amazing that is in every every aspect of the word amazing it's <laughs> it's just perfect <laughs> all right hold on let's let's see if we can get our formatting back all right we didn't ruin the whole document good job boys um but <laughs> that like when i was thinking about it i was like i want this to be a certain kind of janky and i spent a long time trying to find the right artist uh, for it right there, but he just nailed it right off the fucking bat. I gave him uh, an image of uh, Lee Emery or whatever that guy's name is in full metal jacket pointing at the camera with his uh, drill sergeant hat. And uh, this is exactly, I like the font that he chose. I like that he didn't uh, fucking include an apostrophe in don't. <laughs> uh uh, I'm probably gonna have to do my own fucking lettering on these though. Like the guy, the guy, I was wanting him to hand draw the lettering, but he didn't do it. He just fonted it up. Um, anyhow, let's. Uh, I can I can pick up some of the slack there. <sighs> let's see. All right, what, what the fuck was I uh, doing here? Oh, that's right, we were editing before I uh, got got waylaid by this whole thing. All right, so here we have the word "tard suit," but uh, I I think we're gonna just let that one rock. So there's our victory over heavily shielded, except. <laughs> Why did I have poisoning? Glad he caught that. Oh, I don't, I don't think radioisotope is fucking hyphenated either. How do you fucking? Yeah, radioisotope is one word. Yeah, that's that's pretty. I'm I'm right. No, but. You know, like, um, I was the one who originally made this error. It's not two words. It's one word. Radioisotope is one word. And this wasn't, uh, this wasn't like an editing thing. Uh, this is just like stupidly. I hyphenated it for some reason when we were fucking writing it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is a, uh, Senor ZYZ. I fucking accept the comment. I have to rewrite this entire fucking thing. Oh, it's impossible to click on this guy. There we go. Accept deletion. Radioisotope is one word. Um, so we're gonna accept Captain of Marines. Watching the tug power up. Uh, Flame Horizon. Uh, so this is, uh, just FYI, I think I talked about this at the time, but Flame Horizon is a term from uh, League of Legends, and it's where uh, one laner. Uh, scores 100 more creep score than the other lamer. Uh, they're just bodying the person. Uh, but we're using it here.
So one thing that's not clear was um, whether all 36 of these... Oh, so these are these 36 uh, platoons are just the ones on the Polybius, by the way. Um, I wonder if I should specify that. No, we, we, we don't care. But um, yeah, it's not like there are other... It's not like 37 Tard platoons ever. Um, I... I kind of don't like um, turning this into words here. Um, I think like as a stylistic point. Here, I'm gonna leave that comment for myself. Yeah, that might be something where we just like do it in like a different font, like in some way, like like bolded or um, make it stand out from the text. Yeah, I like this part. Marine Bango, lefty stood holding a cycle saw. Cool. Right, let me scroll this up a little bit so it's easier for y'all to see. Oh, this is a good edit here. Instead of began bombarding him, <laughs> profane gesticulated goulash of insults and comments. Uh, I, I, I I try to throw the word uh, goulash or Salma Gundy into every single fucking uh, word that I think. I loll out every comma and numbers his words. It's less stylistic. Uh... Ooh, spelling it out for the reader uh, without making them parse it in their head. Well, it's just, it's, I think it's common, um, it's common practice to um, uh, just write out numbers for the most part. If they're smaller than uh, a thousand, over a thousand, uh, you're supposed to write them in. And I think I'm just lazy. Tard squint of, oh wait, I want to see if he, remember how hard we fucking worked on this, this paragraph right here, universal sign language, tortures as a peacock, and there were no poets on this irradiated alien hell. Yeah, we worked really hard on that fucking paragraph, and he didn't make any changes to it, that um, he, he wasn't like, this is bullshit or anything, although he has not done a lot of calling out bullshit for the most part there. Uh, which is unfortunate because uh, I kind of need an editor that's more like Zach. You can't fucking get away with that bullshit. Um, yeah, I we may need a. Uh, oh, cool. He um, <laughs> he. We find, this is the first time I've seen him put in a colon. Uh, where where it's it's an appropriate colon too. Who tended? Oh, that's a good uh, swap of that for who. Uh, <laughs> I like that Lefty, Heaps, and Plinko have one functional brain spread between three people. Okay, so he says, uh, Pinchy the Whale, uh, as this is the first mention of it here. That's... Okay, so um, he has a comment here, um, like where we call this Pinchy the Whale, right? Um, so one, it's a, uh, a Simpsons joke, but two, um, like underlying this is the idea that the Tards have named it Pinchy the Whale. Um, uh, because they're sort of like on the same wavelength as the Captain of Marines. Uh, and they think the same thing. And they're like, ah, it looks like a pinched off turd. Like just, they're uh, on that same juvenile level. 
But yeah, I did get your reference a little bit earlier. And uh, let's see, we're gonna 400 meters. <laughs> I like that it's called Pinchy. I'm not changing that. Okay. Bag of each Marine's helmet, tards. Ooh, don't like. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna. We're not gonna do the singular tard. Um, just doesn't fucking do it for me. Is the thing. I I don't like it one bit. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> the other part of it that is also good is that uh it uh every time that we use uh marine as the pronoun for these space tards it's like another insult at marines which i uh, simplify i love it all right what do we got here huh he took out which and here's another spot where he's inter interjected a colon. Um, what do we have previously? Was it a fucking semicolon? No, it was just a good, yeah, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Gunny continued to berate Lefty. Needs to be its own sentence. Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah, so they were related, um... Constructs right there. Gunny continued to berate Lefty. It was important to repeat himself or Lefty would forget half of it. Uh, okay, so this is weird. Uh, okay, so he again uses italics uh, for big nose right here. That's fine. So what their helmets look like, it's, it's kind of like uh, a home. Uh, can I do? It's got like these three fucking uh, trunks that look like a big old nose. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm having such a ball with this shit. Every third Marine. Uh, so gunnery sergeant uh, never capitalized, and I think we capitalize it every single time. Yeah, like we we really just did not know how to capitalize ranks in this. Something a. <laughs> Tards love speeches. Biggest feature in the Navy right here. Uh, I love I love feature um, as a substitute for retard. Uh, because it, it not only uh, highlights that the... Uh, so Panda from Mars is saying, what were you smoking when you came up with this? I wonder what my original idea was. The original idea was definitely that I want, I think we were joking around about something in like the IRC channel. And uh, uh, like I was making some kind of joke about Tardig. Oh, I think I made a joke. All right, hold on. This is, this is a complicated uh, Genesis here. Okay, so I made a joke about how um, Jewish people had bioengineered tardigrades and they were sending them to the moon to construct a giant mezuzah so they could claim ownership of the entire moon. Um, these tardigrades can survive in like hard vacuum and so forth. Uh, very, very borderline uh, <laughs> joke right there. And somehow from there, we, uh, I was like playing around with uh, tardigrade and uh, tard and so forth and started thinking about. Um, um, like people being spliced with tardigrade DNA. And I wanted to do uh, originally in my original idea, these guys were like scavengers um, exploring uh, like asteroids and uh, ship hulks and so forth. And uh, the, the key point that was interesting to me was I wanted to make it so that all their stuff had to be super low tech, right? Um, like I wanted to come up with like a reason why technology wouldn't function and they had to uh, do all this stuff with like uh, almost strictly mechanical 
type stuff. And they were meant to be outcasts because they were infused with this DNA and they were weird looking and they were stupid, but they could do jobs other people couldn't do. Uh, and they had, um, you know, they, they, they were fucking real ones, uh, in the original idea. So originally these guys were going to be scavengers, like exploring asteroids and stuff like that. Uh, but then, um, when I started writing it, the, uh, I got this idea for, uh, I don't know why we started. Uh, so when I write a book, I write from beginning to end, starting with the initial chapter. So we started on, it's not like I added in the fucking uh, Admiral scene later. That's just, uh, uh, like the whole idea started taking shape in that first chapter of like these weird alien hulks just phasing in out of nothingness. And then all the stuff about whales, we kind of filled in uh, later. So that's how that idea came to place, like a crude and stupid joke uh, that uh, just spun way out of control. And now uh, <laughs> we're we're deep into this bout. So in a way, I have to thank mezuzahs, which are so dumb. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of uh, tawdry religious shit all over the place. But um, <laughs> uh, love it. All right, back to back to the nature of this thing right here. So now you know what this is all about. Oh, Gunny, I didn't even kill us. Two weeks, Gunny barked and left his mouth worked in protest, but his brain finally caught up and clapped it shut. He closed his eyes and exhaled. Okay, cool. So here, uh, he's taking. He sees that we uh, use shut twice. That's fine. That's a good good edit. Yeah, overall, um, really, really pleased with uh, the work that this guy did on the story. And I'm I'm really wondering. Um, unfortunately, like he came in super late uh, with the manuscript, and uh, the way that he gave excuses. Um, for like showing up like where every day he would be like, oh, it's gonna, you're gonna get it today. You're gonna get it today. And then it wouldn't come that day. And uh, like the weekend passed and he's like, oh, you know, this weekend is so crazy and so forth. Um, to me, in my experience, and I don't want to slander this guy because this is just me uh, hypothesizing and so forth. Hopefully he doesn't, he never watches this. But to me, when somebody does that, they either have significant depression uh, where they're just powerless to complete their tasks, which I can understand. And it, like, there's some stigma associated with uh, depression to the point where I wouldn't just tell some random fucking client, yeah, I was too depressed to do this. I'd be, I would, and I think what I'm getting a whiff of here, because he didn't make any like decent excuses, is he didn't want to lie. You know, some people just don't like to lie, even for excuses. Uh, I know a few people like that. Uh, there's some in my board game club, and it's hilarious when they have to play, like, social lying games, and they just can't fucking do it. So he's embarrassed about um, why he couldn't get this shit done. And it might just be, like, workload, but if it was workload, I would just say, like, hey, I got a lot of fucking uh, shit on my plate. You're going to have to wait. Um, but I think it's something he was embarrassed about. So to me, that means either he was super depressed, um, or he has a significant uh, drinking or substance abuse problem. Right? Uh... And this is, this is, you know, just like off of an email, like, you know, four or five email conversations, like 10 or 15 words. But I start thinking those things when somebody like fails to deliver on a project, like for five or six days in a row. Um, yeah, anyhow, um, so that makes me kind of hesitant to hire that person again, even if they do good work, because, you know, it's kind of like a rolling them fucking dice. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about the other day how I once, uh, sold a bicycle to a junkie and then for some reason i was surprised when they never paid me the other half of it that they said they were going to do and it was a stolen bicycle also so yeah you know like you know what you're getting into uh i'm not i'm not saying that this guy's a junkie or a drunk i think it's more likely he's probably just depressed by corona because we're all depressed by corona to be fair and uh, i don't blame anybody who is but um yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see. But I, I really think that he did a stellar fucking job. Just on the basis of his editing, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend him here for somebody doing military science fiction. But, um, yeah, a lot of fucking stress on me when, when like, a project's not 
happening because I start to worry like, oh, what if he won't do a good job because I've never worked with him before? You know, what if uh, he never fucking does it? What if I can't get my money back, et cetera? Like I have to go through a whole credit card contesting. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that's just any kind of collaborative uh, project that you work on is going to have some drama associated with it. Um, just it's inherent in working with another person. I used to uh, put books out with a woman who like I loved more than I love myself. And I love myself a lot, right? I'm very, uh, very into myself. But, um, and uh, we would fight about uh, covers and stuff like that. And uh, like, eat, like it was a really, we were like each other's best friends, known each other for like a decade. And we would still uh, fucking lock horns over stuff. And I think uh, tension from trying to put a uh, book together was one of the, the contributing factors. Also, I did some real dumb shit, uh, really and truly. Anyhow. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I think this is, he's done a good job of cleaning up kind of like an awkward line here. Uh, I'm glad that I got to keep my finger in a block of cheese thing. That's something Tars would know all about. I can totally picture them like sticking their fingers into stuff. All right, what do we got here? Uh, uh, so Chad says to get on Yielded. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll try fucking around with it. All right, so shout outs to Sarah Grimm, uh, too, who is doing fine and just chilling. Yeah, welcome to, uh, the edit right here. This is like, usually the editing is more me reading stuff. Um, but uh, in this one, we're just going through changes. Oh, that's, that is that is better. Crawl is way better than crawl through. Yeah, good edits, man. Uh, yeah, you can, I think, I think editors just do fine replaces for the word that and just uh, analyze each one and cut out every fucking one. You almost never need the word that. <laughs> uh, flash pan and deck hooks. God, look at all these edits. Now, hold on. I want to see what he actually did there. Okay, so he turned each other, turned to each other, he turned that into turn to one another. All right. Yeah, I think that's just a style note. Um, so word doesn't like both clauses can stand alone. Uh, so a semicolon works best. No, you were totally fucking wrong, MS Word. You would never, ever put a uh, semicolon in there. Those clauses cannot stand alone. Fuck you, MS Word. Uh... Oh, so uh, Chad uh, built a server for Cyberpunk 2077 as the only game that he's stoked about that's upcoming. Well, me and Spathiwa are going to put out a game at some point there. I uh, I am going to start, uh, you know, assuming I don't die from the Rona, uh, I am going to start doing a live RPG stream where you can just, uh, like, jump in for, like, one hour and play, like, this uh, online fucking choose-your-own-adventure death trap dungeon thing I've got going on. Uh, but I, so far, I have not um, actually put it together there. Oh, fuck. So he deleted this there. I think it's an important this. Uh, yeah. This member. <laughs> Uh, okay, so generally, almost any time where I'm bucking on something that the editor is doing that isn't super minor, I want to explain myself because we're going to do a proofreading pass 
And uh, if you don't explain yourself, in my experience, editors will just change the things that you changed back um, out of like uh, kind of like not quite peak, but usually they're right and I'm wrong. And uh, they'll either try to save you from yourself or whatever. But if you justify why it's going on, they might think about it and they might come back with something. Well, like if you want to do that, you should do it in like a little different way or something. So uh, my my suggestion for working with an editor, like also it's a little bit of an ego thing too for them because they know what's right, right? I don't know what's right. That's why I'm going to them for help. So anytime that you're instructing somebody in something, because this, this is kind of like... Um, and editing is kind of like this guy giving me a long fucking lesson and this is stuff you should have already known about writing and I know it and you don't um, and um, if you're ever teaching somebody or you're ever learning from somebody just every time that you want to be like well is that actually that it's annoying and frustrating for the person who's trying to teach you um, so like just adding like a little comment being like hey this is why I don't think this is working out um, will will just really um, uh, lead to a better working relationship with an editor for the most part, um, in my experience. And one of the things that it took me a while to like learn. Um, oh, so Sarah Grimm wants to know, um, Panna from Mars was saying, what was the bit about clauses we mentioned? So uh, up a little bit here. Um, so Gunny and Member turned to one another, eyebrows raised. So um, there are a few ways to write the sentence. Uh, eyebrows raised is a clause, and Gunny and member turned to one another is a clause. Uh, Microsoft Word thinks that because these are two clauses, which could be independent, which is not, tr I mean, eyebrows raised can be its own independent sentence if eyebrows are the uh, fucking subject. Uh, actually, does this work better? Gunny and member turned to one another with eyebrows raised. Gunny and member turned to one another, eyebrows raised. Yeah, I, I want I want to obit uh, with right there. So that's what we were talking about with clauses right there. So Sarah Grimm is saying, what are we doing today? Today we are reviewing. Uh, so after we did an edit of this book on the live stream, uh, we sent it off to a real editor who knows what the fuck they're talking about. You can tell by like all the uh, red in this. Um, to make some changes. And so I, I really like, uh, for young, like I assume that some of the people, uh, in the stream want to write themselves. I cannot stress enough how important it is to have an editor. Like, look, I've been writing for 20 years, right? Look at all the dumb things that I missed right here. Um, like just this word and... A lot of exceptionals in this, but I, I guess that's good for clarity right there. But um, every single instance of lead in this book, I put the word lead as in the element instead of the word lead, L-E-D. And I look like a fucking retard. Uh, I look like I'm a space tard uh, because I don't know that right there. So just, I see a lot of people just uh, pushing their shit on to uh, Amazon KDP and like their editor was their mom. Uh, or somebody, but I am such a believer in the power of professional editing uh, that, like, I have books that I have not put out because I can't afford to edit them, but I know, like, they need the attention of a professional editor, uh, which I cannot provide. One, you can't edit your own work. Like, um, you're too familiar with it. You need some distance to uh, accurately appraise. And uh, near wipe. Oh, I like that we describe uh, a lot of these missions in video game terms, like they're on a raid Anyhow, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, I don't like this. So I do like that uh, trying to get some is uh, uh, like sexual innuendo, but I do not like um, 
They both nodded grimly. They nodded together grimly, both aware they would likely lose Marines in the attempt. Much better. Yeah, trying to get some just doesn't fucking work for me there. Cool. Uh, let's see. So uh, one of the concepts that I like here is they there's like a ring of signal lights uh, and they call it the wishing ring to me. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I just like that little. If they made it out of the whale, Bonzo was going to point the tarred sports nose at the wishing ring. Oh, at the ring. Oh, so he took out wishing. That's fine. And they were all going to pray they had enough fuel to make it up through the flame horizon. There was supposed to be plenty of fuel, but sometimes gravity got chucky around whales. Oh, so. Oh, he just edited. He removed. After Gunny's fifth mission hadn't made it out, they'd nearly run out of air until they managed to cap on the fuel canisters the Polybius was lobbing at. Oh, yeah, that was. I agree 100% with this deletion. It's a really cool concept, but it has no place in that, that uh, thing. And I wouldn't have cut it out because I fucking like it. Yeah. Good cut. I think I might have been the one that cut that, but I don't want to take credit for it if uh, this guy did it. But yeah, that it was cool, but it doesn't fit. Set up the flash pan. Oh, I like this concept of whales being covered in a material called ghost skin. Uh, okay, so here he took out my quotes on nebs and then turned nebulas. I like this little joke uh, that's in there. Short for nebulas because they were destined to become stars. Nice. Nice. Yeah, just about any point where um, they're giving something like a... Uh, a non-common usage term, he's putting that in italics rather than in quotes. Um, and I think this is a stylistic choice uh, on his part, but it does seem more correct uh, to me. Maybe because of bias uh, for just trusting the editor. Uh, okay, so he put the he put the entire units of smarts thing into past tense. I think that's mine. Yeah, here's every um, every instance of was flicking and like uh, I think was flicking is um, like past perfect or whatever. There, he just he just strips all that shit out of the book. It has no place here. Okay, and then he made con uh, wishing ring uh, capital because it's a um, uh, proper noun. Oh God. There we go. What did he do here? Uh, that's fine. Valknut, and then he uppercase smarts. <laughs> oh, I like that. The uh, he. Uh, his tongue poked against his upper lip as if the thought were a seed stuck in his teeth. Finally, he dislodged it. Like it. Really like that little... There are some, like, clever bits of language here. The old, uh... Okay, and then we had still winking there. Okay, so we've made it back to, uh, okay. No one was dead when they returned to the platoon, and Gunny clapped Bonzo on the shoulder, a rare gesture of praise. All right, there we go. Is platoon capital. 
keep in mind chapter six if we see he uh uh capitalized platoon elsewhere we'll do it but i don't think platoon is capitalized okay here is breaking up a um, run-on sentence which uh is a lot of uh doing my editing work yeah, I really have to get the difference between lead and lead uh, down. I just look, I'm just dumb of me. I should know that. All the instances of II uh, were turned to hyphens. Uh, let me see. Oh, so Bango has the deepest voice in the platoon. I would have thought it'd be Sambone or somebody. Uh, but uh, so it goes. What do we got? They just cut out um, negative. All right, yeah, I think it's superfluous. Uh, another instance of uh, past perfect fucked up. <laughs> I don't like that they him a jupe tigger. It's so stupid. I like that Gunny is just shaking his head in exasperation. It all nearly died almost a dozen times, and they weren't even inside the fucking whale. Ah, oh, love it. Or should I say Chuck and Whale? Thumb pinky wobbling hang ten. Yeah. <laughs> all Oh, poll specialist. Um, let's go back up, because uh, I want to. Uh, I want to change that to. Let me see. Ah, uh, poll specialist. Uh, yeah, this really, I mean, keep in mind, this story is for fucking 14 year old boys and uh, grown men who have not progressed past the point of being 14 year old boys. So 200 kilo apparatus. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't accept those changes, so. I wonder how we didn't. And protective covering, Marines. Uh, uh, so, author here, this is a comment that I left. This should be subscript. Uh, I wonder how I make that fucking subscript. Uh, normal subtitle. There we go. Subscript. Well, this a fucking. There we go. Cool. SIH four, not alive anymore. Um, cool. So we managed to make the uh, four subscript. Is our chat still fucking working? Maybe I'm just boring people here. But uh, yeah, just FYI. Uh, editing is a tedious and boring process. Holler if you heard me. Uh, but uh, sometimes the chat freezes up. Hold on. Let me. Uh, still here. All right, cool. Yeah, let, let me know if I'm fucking anything up here. But uh, that's good. Oh, this is kind of interesting here. He's taken out were. No words were necessary. And it turns out the word were was not necessary in that sentence. Fucking infinite recursion right here. Pinchy the whale. 30 meters. I like that we're only using metric in this. Um, 
I just think it's easier. Fuck you, Amerifats. Yeah, just almost any, um, any, uh, I'm seeing that any sentence where I use the word began, he's just cut out began and just had it be like straight. Uh, and then there's another still pouring. I gotta, I gotta admit, you know, it's right. Um, like the, um, it does look better without the sort of, um, uh, that weird halfway passive language. Although here we have, there was a thrumming noise overhead from whatever was pumping, uh, from whatever pump gas into the room. Oh, actually, this is kind of a shitty sentence. So overhead, an unseen device thrummed as it pumped gas into the room. All right, cool. So we would come up with two pumps if we did it that way. Uh, let's accept this deletion. Yeah, look at that. As I'm blogging about um, passive language over red, you know, it's... and then weirdly, when um, when we do that, it makes uh, my text red over the shit. There we go. Uh, accept, accept the deletion. Fucking. Right here. Fuck you. There we go. Cool. Overhead, an unseen device thrummed as it pumped gas into the room. Cool. And there probably shouldn't be two spaces there. I changed it to over ov head. <laughs> I would give you a point if we were still taking points. Um, but uh, fortunately, I managed to uh, save it at the last moment there. I wonder if we'll ever get like hundreds of people on the stream and people doing like the Bod Ross saved uh, type shit. It'll always be the dream. Oh, weird. Weird, no. Yeah, that shouldn't have two spaces. Okay, cool. So that was that was an introduced error by the editor right there. We're not gonna catch many of those. This guy's pretty sharp. All right. So he doesn't like this. All right, so let's. So, I want there to be like a nickname of uh, uh, Yak's nickname to be kind of Yakov, or uh, yeah, any, any. What, what do I want? I want this fucking accept the deletion there. All right, so here we should probably do a find and replace uh, for all instances of Yak. Rename him for clarity. Later start using Yank. So Yank is a different person also. Um, we're just going to accept that edit. I'd like to do it, but it's small. Uh, oh, I like that, where he takes out uh, opposite the one they breached to enter. Like, it doesn't even need to be in this end. So that's a good uh, omission right there. Or deletion, because it's not an omission.
All right, uh, we should probably do a uh, find and... Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but later we need to do a... Uh, I'm probably going to forget about it. I need to do a find and replace for all instances. Oh, oh, I like this part where he's like uh, telling him about the mission rudder. Horseshoe shaped machine that could apparently defy gravity. Oh, I like that. Mm. So, yeah, he changed, uh, It's a proper noun. So I think JIT list is, it's like one specific list um, that you can be on. Like it's an actual fucking list called the JIT list. All right, hold on. I'm going to reject that deletion. All right, and then we're going to comment. <laughs> specific actual list proper noun yeah there's they they literally have a shit list that they put everybody on it okay uh, so oh fuck what why Okay, cool. So here he wants a comma on SOZ. Clarify, sorry. Okay. Oh, he doesn't he doesn't need me fucking telling him. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. He uh, this guy's well fucking aware that this is slang. Uh he just needed me to clarify there. So I don't need to clan explain it to him. So he changed said unhappily to groaned. Uh that's fine. Cuz people are uh uh, yeah, people are like a chorus of boos right afterward. Grown probably works a little bit better. Wow, he did like a bunch of. Oh, I don't think reminded would be uppercase here. No, it's just a verb. The more you get reminded, the more scrambled your brains get. That's why we work so hard to save the rudder. How's it going up there, member? <laughs> Konami. 
There's so many stupid in jokes in this uh this book. Uh, I took out all my uh I like a Ouija. Oh, cool. This is him telling the story about uh, the time he crashed the rats into the Moravini. <laughs> he has to explain what cauterized is. Ugh. Uh, I guess you have to italicize poof. That's a good notice. So there's a uh, named uh, marine called Fico, PP for L. Uh, <laughs> I gotta be care uh, like careful about um, um, words he's cutting out uh, in Gunny's text because we want to stay true to. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay, so he wanted to add apostrophes to the word M, which is fair. Oh, hold on, let me go back. I fought this big purple orb. Uh, I think something is missing here. Okay, let's... The ghost fought over. Let's... Cool. Orbs. Uh, all right, so. Glaring at us like all the ghosts turned gray and orbited the busted orb, fading away, glaring at us like we'd done them dirty. Love it. I like that they call humans, uh, I don't know where DCOM uh, is in the story, but DCON. Yeah, I think I think that's a good fucking note right there. Decontamination. Ninety five days of fucking being reminded. See, we even knew that we were supposed to capitalize the space names, uh, or the ship names, but, uh... Okay. 
So I like that he's superscripted all the uh, 37th ones. I should just learn how to do that in pages. Oh, okay, so we do um, say where uh, Bickles is the rookie of the... Uh, so he did, does appear in one other place there. Whew, tiring work, man. All right, so... All right, so that was just a straight error where we had put had for a yank. And then here's another... Uh, so he changed Silane sucked uh, into Silane was drawn, which I feel makes sense. Sucked is just fucking distracting in that sentence. Getting sucked is usually distracting. Uh, unseen machinery. Run on sentence that he chopped up. It's literally like maybe a thousand edits that we've gone through uh, earlier. I wonder if it is a way to like see a list of all the whatever. But yeah, easily thousands and thousands of edits in this. Yeah, I wish it would keep uh, sort of the editing pain centered on the uh, was drawn out in uh, passive voice. Yeah, I'm gonna let it ride. <laughs> I mean, it's not that you can never use passive voice. You just try to avoid it where you can. Oh, so by the way, I think I said it at the time, but smashy smashy is uh, something one of my friends uh, would used to say uh, when they wanted to play Smash Brothers. They'd be like, smashy smashy. Uh, <laughs> and the answer was always yes. Yes, we always wanted to play Smash Brothers. Super Smash. Um. Okay, so Clipper and Sambone, we uh we mentioned them earlier, so we resolve those edits. Talk about how the tards are obsessive compulsive about their guns. Oh. <laughs> I like the gun he is like reminiscing about when he got his flamethrower. Thumbbutt protocol. Uh, so he hyphenates jet black, which I guess is all right. Jet black is kind of uh, cliche a little bit. Oh, uh, he, he, uh, he, weird. He does that without um, hyphenation or text in Dutch. Oh, there's no fucking what what came up as Dutch thumb butt protocol is that a real fucking thing I know they're always sticking their thumbs up dikes and each other's asses so yeah so he took out the quotes on A and B Gunny the Rook oh 
Oh no 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 that. Yeah, like that that change can't happen. Yeah, of his heart's desire. Um, even though this is incorrect, um, it's a reference to uh, 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 Jezu uh, heart's desiring. So it's it's got to be there. <sighs> yeah, just uh, yeah. Yeah, so he's right. It's a bad edit um, on my part, um, but uh, it's a stylistic choice that I want to make. Gunny the Rook. Oh. Room by room. That's a good uh, uh began to flag. Yeah, I should just almost never need began, it's looking like here. Hell yeah. He gets his flamethrower. Shout outs to Benny. He has a re the editor has a really good edit. Uh oh th this is where Gunny's like, why do I have a flamethrower out in a room full of explosive gas? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is that comment is uh, me. So that doesn't need to be there. In fact, we can delete this comment. Yeah. Right. Huh, it's not in quotes. Oh, I would almost I would almost certainly think that that was uh, quoted, but I am not a professional editor. Three ways like a banana. Hell yeah. Only one instance of this. Clarify. Oh. All right. Let's let's just change the word if he doesn't like it. Uh, what we have? He's right. Yeah. The other part of it is like these guys have never seen a fucking deer, you know. So bewildered. Uh, I want to do something. Uh, bewildered is like as close as I can get to that. <laughs> what do you think? Bewildered or baffled? What's a cute phrase for tarred focus? Buffaloed? <laughs> uh, phased is... Uh... Oh, you know what I want? Here's what we want. Boom. Muddled. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's perfect. Muddled. It's like we're making a fucking uh oh my god, a uh a mojito over here. What do I got?
Yeah. So we uh, we established um, this character earlier. So he says that Bickles must be foreshadowed or have a dialogue. Oh, this is this is my edit. It's not his edit. I uh, I actually did do this already, and so we can just delete that comment. Yeah, unfortunately, like when he did this edit, um, he'd want to know. He didn't want me to know how long he had worked on it. Um, so he stripped identifying information from his comments, uh, such as timestamps and so forth. You can pull. I think you can pull that out of the metadata, anyhow, um, if you really want to. But I, I don't give a shit. Um, it's obviously he spent like more than enough time on this thing, so I don't. I don't really give a shit about the timestamps. Like this was. This is definitely 10 hours of work that he's put into this guy, uh, which is what I wanted to get out of this. Probably, honestly, like this guy uh, did maybe like closer to 20. Uh, I'm actually uh, strongly considering uh, throwing him some extra money as like a tip or something, uh, just because I think he did a stellar job here. I think I'm going to throw him $50, uh, but uh, don't tell him that. All right, so this is a good comment. The strand that was hunting Gunny diverted its attention to the trap marine. All right, cool. So I think that's a good uh, uh, clarity point. So really, really like to see um, spots where an editor is questioning the reality of the situation in a way that is productive. Right, because these are, um, if he has that question, there's a chance some uh, some percentage of readers are going to be like, oh, why didn't it go for fucking Gunny? In fact, this is, Uh, that was hunting gunny. All right, so here we have like, we immediately wrote it in passive language, which uh, I've got to work on there. Okay. Gunny was the last one out. The widest marine in the unit, Sipper, had gotten stuck in the breach ahead of him.
Sipper kicked his legs and tried to worm his way through, attracting attention from the strands. A strand shot past Gunny and darted at the trap marine, lancing through Sipper's forearm. Oh! Uh... How would it get to his fucking forearm? Which would be through the... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, this is a really good edit. Uh... Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to resolve this. Sipper had foolishly flattened his arms at his sides and tried to worm through. <laughs>
Okay, cool. Uh, what if he went? So I thought about having him go feet first, but uh, it's important for Gunny to boot him in the ass. <laughs> like baseball or a pool slide. Yeah, because next, like Gunny boots him in the ass next. It is a lot of work. Super. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, so I had that thought. I think we can just, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is much better. If we just take out the booting in the ass and have him, uh, like, just boot him in the head, then it works perfectly. Strand shot past Gunny. All right, so. A strand shot past Gunny and darted at the trapped Marine, lancing through his forearm. Perfect. There we go. Boom. Yeah, let's accept this deletion. Accept the insertion. No, I don't like the... Uh, applying the boot is something you can do with it. Uh, yeah, let, let's... As a spark whistled towards them, Gunny rushed at Sipper and shoved him through the hole.
Whew. Yeah. All right. So yeah, good edit there, uh, Spithywa. Um. Yeah. I think I think that really does simplify our whole. A spark whistled in the distance. Before it could unfold its fronds and Slipper's arm, Gunny rushed forward and slammed into him, forcing him through the breach. A strand yanked out of Sipper's arm as if it didn't want to cross the threshold.
Whew. The breach was clear and Gunny hastened to escape. His helmet rang like a bell. His helmet rang like a bell as a strand hit him from behind, but he didn't die. The WAP plate, saved, the WAP plate had saved him. <laughs> a spark whistled in the distance. Before... Uh, let's see... A spark whistled in the distance. Before the strand could unfold its fronds in Sipper's arm, Gunny rushed for. Oh, yeah. Sipper popped through the ble in <laughs> bleach. <laughs> Blip -a -blop 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 bleach. Uh, a strand whistled in the distance. Before it could unfold its fronds in Sipper's arms. Oh, yeah, there we go. A spark whistled in the distance. Before it could unfold its fronds in Sipper's arm, Gunny rushed forward and slammed into him. Sipper popped through the breach. The bloody strand ripped. Cool. Oh my god, so much work to fix that edit. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I fucking somehow deleted his comma. Comment. Uh, okay, so accept, 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 accept.
Several marines had shredders pointed at the breach, but the strands didn't venture past the threshold. Cool. I think I think that is a good note. Um, where he's like wondering, like, why aren't those strands like reaching through, trying to fucking get him? Um, I, I don't know. Like, maybe they don't. Uh... Okay, so accepting, 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 accepting. Okay, so he didn't uh, actually catch this here, but I want to uh, give him a shout out just the same because he was like questioning uh, something didn't sit right with him about that situation. And uh, what neither of us realized is like the way that the screen scene was described, this guy was getting stabbed in the forearm, but he was like caught halfway between the room with his upper half like uh, fucking in the other room. So it was like um, a serious breach of reality right there. Um, and one that I'm really happy we caught. Uh, this is, yeah, like that's, that's a major faux pas. One of the last thing, you know, it's, it's all like one thing to like have a comma out of place or something like that. But if you're describing something that can't fucking happen, no good, no good. And it's easy to do like, because keep in mind, like we're just visualizing things that, um, uh, not only haven't happened, but could never happen. But, um, yeah, really, really happy that we caught that. And like, if it took a little bit to, uh, sort it out, great. Really important. Um, all right. So accept, accept and move to next. Um, let's see. So it, it, it's important to note here that Gunny is not the narrator. Um, he's not even like really the, uh, uh, I guess he's the POV for the character. Gunny is like a little bit smarter than the other people. Um, All right, hold on, hold on. Sta imparando l'italiano. <laughs> so, uh... There are PGated notes, right? <laughs> so, uh, re remember that uh, Gunny had picked up Capiche from the chaplain. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's, that's such a, like a, a fucking stupid thing for me to comment to this dude, but uh, I still... Yeah, he's picking up a little bit of Italian. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, I love it. Cool.
Okay, so somewhere in the story, we need to specify that um, uh, Bonzo does not think uh, that um, fucking um, Deuce is man enough to fly it back through the... Uh, Oh, double time is one word. Yeah, hold on. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm, as usual, I'm fucking wrong. It's not one word. I like that uh, he sees 5% as a uh, natural 20. See, so here's, here's like, so, um, like one, like, uh, to be, to be fair, like the narrator is not uh, gunny. And we know because the narrator can do things like see through the eyes of the, uh, the comm or whatever. This section, it's a little bit in uh, gunny's POV. But yeah, there, there's no uh, there's no protest against him knowing like the word specularity, which is something I had to look up. Um, like, no no way that Gunny would know that word. Um, but I don't think the narrator has to know only the words that Gunny has, because like if we tried to uh, write the book in the voice of Gunny, um, purely through his perception and so forth, would be a very very different book. It'd be an interesting writing challenge. But I, I, we're we're not going for that uh, in this one. Um, probably we would go for like a first person POV and it would be like even more of a, like a clockwork orange type rip, um, where just, um, uh, yeah, we don't need it. We clarified that earlier. Yeah. They, they use saws. Okay, so here we need to. Oh, let's see. Yeah. I like yak, honestly, but yeah, we could probably do a find and replace, but uh, we'll just do it this way. Um, yeah, oh, God. Yeah, we should have just done the find and replace. Uh. Alright, I'm fucking finally done with this. I'm...
How do you do a fucking find replace? There were eight more instances of that. Um, okay, cool. All right, let's uh, accept, 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 accept. All right, so we can accept deletion. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, that comment doesn't need to be there. Ah, oh, I hate it when it does this shit. Wait, what? Ugh, no, don't fuck up my indents. Right here, hold on. Yeah, this is my least favorite shit about Microsoft fucking nerd. Yeah, it's just, uh, 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 uh. Delete the fucking trailing paragraph. Yeah, uh. oh, I'm struggling. I'm fucking struggling here. Right, hold on. Let me see. Ah. Uh, let's... Uh, all right, so we'll delete this comment. Here, can we? There we go. No! No, asshole fucking word, man. Yeah, got me fucking crazy. Ah, right, here. Let's... I hate this bullshit. Uh... Boom, and then I agree, uh, Spathiwa. Yeah, uh, let's reject that change. Yeah. So here, yeah. Let's comment here. Let's comment. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, like, uh, I agree 100% with, uh, with Spathy Wall. Yeah, I want to... Uh... Immediately, Gunny realized what was bothering him. But in the tense, would it be had been bothering him? Uh... No. Immediately, Gunny realized what bothered him. Yeah. It... Let's just take it there. Yeah. So here, here's the thing. Like, we just get into, like, this weird tense space there. Um, that is not, for this line, it's not worth um, 
breaking out to like what was bothering him. Yeah, it's let's just uh, leave it like this. <laughs> Got an idea, Gunny. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so this is my favorite comment uh, that he made in this whole fucking thing. So, um, the comment here is that we lose track of, uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, so that was his uh, uh, his comment was like, wouldn't Benny or, or wouldn't he want to try his flamethrower on this door? Absolutely. <laughs> That's such a good comment. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's fix this whole. Oh, hold on. Uh... And we're gonna I'm gonna copy this because. Uh, we if deleted his fucking comment, which I really dislike, because um, I want to uh, give him props in the comment. <laughs> Seems Gunny, at the very least, would be tempted to... Uh, uh... <laughs> 
Uh, all right, hold on. Ah, damn it, yeah. So, how are we gonna do this? So, I wanna keep his comment. Uh, here, let's do this. Oh, no, we can't fucking do it. Alright, here's, here's how I'm gonna do this right here. Bam. Uh, and then we're gonna bam. No, no, you asshole. Uh, uh, fucking Microsoft Word. All right, here's what we're going to do. No, don't put a fucking space, you asshole. There we go. Yeah, um, I also, like, I could just put it in the mode where I can see, like, the paragraph, uh, yeah, so, essentially disappears until now, and then disappears afterward, yeah, I guess filthy sticks out to him for some reason, but there are, like, 20 other marines that we haven't, we haven't said a fucking thing, like, there's no action, um, with uh, Bickles, other than him fucking dying, um, yeah, maybe he, maybe like Filthy is an important character to him, and he wants to see a completion of his arc. All right, that, that's by far my favorite edit in the piece. All right, so let's go ahead and accept, 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 accept. Oh no, god damn it. <laughs> this is so annoying that it's uh fucking Alright, so let's No. No, you fucking cocksucker. Alright, hold on. There we go. No. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. And then. Okay. And then. Yeah, it's just annoying that it's like. Cutting his comments up. Uh, I hope I hope me like fucking struggling with this super basic element of No, I don't fucking remove his comment. Ugh.
So I guess it's on the word burner. <sighs> All right. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just leave that. All right, we're going to leave this fucking uh, comment unresolved for now. I'm really annoyed that I can't figure out how to do that in the fucking commenting system. Because it looks to me like the comments are uh, busted off of the word filthy, but for some reason deleting this uh, or accepting that change uh, fucking deletes it. <sighs> we'll fucking, it won't show up in the finished manuscript. It's just like an annoying... Uh, fucking OCD thing. All right, hold on. Is anybody... Nothing important has happened. Okay. How deep into this manuscript are we? Oh, we're at page 84. We're going to make it through this today. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we uh, we resolve that. Schlack compensators. I love the sound of that. All right, so I expect um, that around chapter eleven is where this guy might have started phoning it in. Uh, so let's take a look now. Clambered. Yeah, I didn't know that was the spelling of that. That's wild. So he changed all instances of Axemen with an E to AX, which is, um, I think AXE is preferred in English. So he says here, um, let's see, masks on, form up in the center of the, um, so here, You know, instead of doing this, instead of saying mass on, let's just say all right, so blast shields up. So, um, what these guys have are like a little thing that they can flip up uh, that covers their visor uh, in the event of like an explosion or whatever, which is what, yeah, we're gonna, here, hold on, accept these fucking changes. They're blast shields. Okay. So they're flipping up blast shields to protect their visors. That is what we want to get across. Blast shields. And I think like where he was like saying masks up, like absolutely they would call them masks and so forth. Just for clarity's sake, it, um, I think that's a good, that's a decent edit. I'm sad that we can't have a fuck it mask off. But uh, not everything can be about future. He puts the Latin in um, italics. Oh, Chapa dies. That's a bummer. Mm. 
Another big word for gunny. Yeah, so it's weird. Um, the science words, um, he uh, uh, is totally cool with, but the music words um, seem to uh, be like outside of his scope. And I wonder if that's like some of uh, the editor um, just not being a music person. Uh, and like, like, so musical terms are less, um, less familiar to him than, um, uh, some of these like, uh, more complicated science terms that we're using in the description. Uh, I, I really want, uh, poly, uh, polyphonic tuning fork to be in there just for polyhurt. So, uh, uh, a ghost could have three arms. They're made out of erectoplasm, Heaps countered. Ectoplasm, Gunny corrected. <laughs> oh, it's going to be such a fun book to do the voiceovers for. Uh, again, this is this is like one of my favorite um, uh, dumb jokes in here. Uh, the axe being named Mighty Sis, which is a uh, uh, just like a play on mitosis. So dumb. Light show. Okay, yeah, definitely. Uh, this is the point where he's just like, fuck it, I'm done. The frequency of edits is like significantly, or maybe I was just writing better. <laughs> That's not it. Um, no, but he's still hitting him with the comments. Yeah, he's still taking his time here. He's making some of the same edits that he had to make over and over again. I like how he braids the explosive into fucking taffy. Love it. Yeah, I like that uh, Gunny's hunches saved the fucking platoon again and again. Um, just... Oh, is Bango's epiphany not... Uh, not yeah, I guess not. Let's see. Scanned as Marines for Sense of Life. Not that. Oh, Aziz got, got too. That's a bummer. He was only there for uh, the Aziz light joke, though. I gotta tell you. That was his fate as a Marine. The twin jet. Click, 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 click. I take back what I was saying. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, that that was not an intentional pun, but uh, uh, we'll keep it. Yeah, I take back what I said about him phoning it. He, he actually did a good job all the way through this fucking story. Um, really good editor. Uh, yeah, I exp like, honestly, like, when he was taking, like, uh, days to get this shit done, I was like, I'm gonna get it back. It's gonna be a fucking mess. It's not a fucking mess. This is great. Yeah, that's a killer. Yeah, like, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna kick this guy some extra cash. I'm so fucking happy with this. Winch up. Oh. oh, shout out to Rayamu right there. Yeah, we do this editing. I'm editing like every single day until I'm dead or in hell. Um, or editing or writing or whatever. I don't really do much of the writing online. Uh, just because I can't uh, fucking uh, talk to you guys while it's going on. If there are, like if the stream gets popular enough, I'll just have like music going. And then we'll fucking... Um, uh, just me, like, staring off into the void. But usually I write at coffee shops. That's just not an option at the moment. Uh, I love that we have a Neopods, which is another thing that Gunny wouldn't know. Uh, Gunny doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe that'll be the theme music for this shit.
So one of the things that I was super glad about uh, going through this edit was that uh, the editor wasn't like, hey, your ending fucking sucks, you know? Because I worry a little bit that the ending is a little obvious in this guy. Hell yeah, compensators flashing. I love that his gun is called uh, a fucking compensator because it's like a 50 caliber pistol for no reason. Oh, it's 14 millimeter, no, but it's about 50 caliber right there. <laughs> There's so many little stupid jokes. Uh. Yep. There we go. I'm going to accept my own edit because it's right. Sentences always start with a capital letter. Tards just want to get on with hills. That's all they really want. <laughs> he made cod clam be hyphenated. Why is not it supposed to be hyphenated? I like that he threatens to fucking mutiny. The text in Italian is not... Uh, yeah. Okay, so we don't need to... Uh... Why did he, oh, so he, uh, he actually went through and edited, um, the, uh, Admiral. Oh, no, no, no. <coughs> oh, he doesn't fucking go there. All right, except. Okay, cool. So that's it. Uh, we edited through this entire fucking thing. Uh, so other things that I'm going to do uh, before I send this back to him, I'm going to go through and create a uh, glossary of some of these terms, and uh, we're going to send it back to him. But yeah, just overall, I want to thank everybody who was um, here for any part of the Space Tards edit. Uh, so Space Tards is now at uh, 29,582 words uh, with this edit. So I'm going to make a glossary of all the terms, and it's going to have like some kind of like jokey... Um, uh, type like so. My favorite part is for the definition of pigger, it's going to do C lefty, and then for the definition of lefty, it's going to be C pigger. Um, and so instead of uh, like this cast of characters, we may uh just uh work all the uh marines into uh there, um, and just have like a uh like an A to Z, and like Gunny might be there, uh, and so forth. Um, but, uh... <laughs> God, what a dumb story. Ah, I, I love it so much. It's just like, uh... Remember that hyphen we had to remove? I do not remember any hyphen that we needed to remove. What fucking hyphen was this? Uh... Yeah, we'll do another. I'll do another pass. Uh, I just I hate the way that uh, it's deleting. Com comments should not be tied into pieces of text. Also, well, look at this fucking right here. Uh, next up. Okay, so it leaps to the next. Let me just look for more spelling and grammar shit. Oh, that's good. I'm just not seeing all that red fucking gone. All right, so we're going to... Uh, hold on just a second. I'll save it later and, and deal with that whole shit later. All right, well, we've done it, boys. Uh, life is good. And uh, we are complete. So I will holler at you all. He hyphenated a phrase that should not have been, and we had to fix it ourselves. Yeah, well done. All right, everybody. we fucking done it. And uh, this is the end of this stream. Everybody be good today. Have a fun time. And I'll talk to you all later. Real talk.